now trying to make the most of it and start the PFL contest. Good pressure by Belk up the middle. The ball is loose, and on the ground, Stetson has a touchdown. A fumble by Anthony Robbins, and into the end zone for the score go the Hatters. Gavin out of Tucson, Arizona. Back in the pocket, a quarterback design run. Gavin with plenty of space, and all the way past the 45-yard line. Robbins again looking to pass, getting his money's worth in the air. Scrambles to his right, trying to find some help, and he's going to get dragged down by Donald Payne. Coach Mike Minner wants the face mask. Instead, Payne gets the sack. Now Robbins goes back to work from the shotgun. Has some time, trying to scramble away, and he gets bottled up. The sack there by Davian Belk, his second sack of the afternoon. Was a mistake by the quarterback, fumbling the ball in the end zone that calls them to score. Final play of the half, looking deep, and that pass is intercepted. So Stetson gets the pick as coming in Glenn Adesoji steps in front for the interception in the back. He's going to go to Joyner inside. Jared gets nothing and swallowed up for a loss of two. The ball is loose, and Stetson recovers. There, um, Mike Minner is talking to the referee or one of the linesmen right now. It looks like the play should have been blown dead. Martin looks right, lobs one to the end zone. His six-foot-eight tight end brings it in, and it's a Stetson touchdown. So Donald Parham, his fourth catch touchdown of the year. And Most like at some point that our player had the football. Here we are on replay. Boy, that six foot eight frame gets up, and the former basketball stand at a high school brings it in. For Back of the shotgun, fakes the set. Clark applies the pressure. Going to the corner route, and that's going to be caught. Tight end is going to put some size on him in Cunningham. But when Martin avoids the pressure, he has plenty of room to work with. The two seniors, the running game starting to pick up now for Stetson. This time they'll go right side on the read option. Cole Mazza moving bodies and dragging his way down to the eight-yard line. Okay. So Robbins, who is 17 of 28, very efficient, but just not getting the ball downfield. Looking deep this time, the catch is made, and that's a first down. Finds Jaquan Brooks, and the Camels move the chains on third down. Well, offense has in store down by 14. Stetson sitting way back, just five minutes of the line of scrimmage with a blitz upcoming. Campbell picks it up nicely. Here comes Robbins, gets past his defender. Lobs it up to the end zone, and that is going to be intercepted. A flag is down, but if results hold an interception for Stetson. That looks like it could be roughing the fast passer. By Deshaun Jones. Motioning out his receiver, Jaquan Brooks. Robbins lobs one of the corner route, and Trey Sanders into the end zone for a touchdown. A big turn of events for the Camels. Well, no one even tried to block Miller, and that's a big block for Scotty Miller. So Campbell, Campbell one one on fourth downs today. Here comes Robbins looking to make it two. Robbins to the end zone, and a touchdown. Aaron Blockman in the end zone. Here comes the two-point conversion. Fleming on the left side. Blockman, and Bailey on the near side. Here comes Robbins scrambling to his right. Robbins to the end zone, and Blockman makes the catch. The game is tied at 24. 30-yard attempt for Mitchell Brown. A tough hold is blocked. Blocked by Donald Payne. Picked up, and the ball's still loose. Here comes Stetson. Stetson can win it if they get in the end zone. Running with the football, Noah Layden tracking him down, and all the way, a pitch and a score. Donald Payne into the end zone for points, and Stetson wins it. The recovery by Jeb Boudreaux. Boudreaux tosses to Donald Payne. So we'll check it out again as the block initially by Donald Payne. Payne with the block. Boudreaux picks it up. And Jeb Boudreaux goes all the way for the touchdown. A touchdown as he flips it to Donald Payne. And Payne to the house for six.